fam vams how's it going this is your girl marissa and i am hoping you guys can really see me because i want to share a diy with you uh that has been working for me now this diy let me get a little closer don't judge me because i don't have any makeup or anything on but this diy that i wanted to share with you i'm hoping you guys could see me i think you guys can okay so this diy i wanted to share with you is a diy that i have seen a couple months back um on the internet and i wanted to kind of try it and it has really really worked well for me recently i went back to london um i took a second trip in august and i went to a, a wedding and as I was there, um, we're at some friends' houses. And when I was there, I noticed when I woke up, I had some uh, big bumps on my uh, face. And also my body was scratching me. Now, when I was here in California, I was having problems with itching too. But um, the bumps weren't coming on my face. When I got there to London, it wasn't as hot as it is um here and I was having problems with the bumps. I am so hoping you guys could see me really good. Okay, I think everything's gonna be fine. So um, what I did was I remembered um, this thing that I saw on the internet and I said, well, let me go ahead and try it. Before I tell you what it is I am using though, let me give you this disclaimer. I am not a doctor nor do I play one on YouTube. These DIYs, facial DIYs, body DIYs that I am sharing with you are DIYs that I have uh, tried and they work for me. And hopefully they'll work for you if you suffer from what I suffer from or um, close to it or other things. And maybe they'll help you. Okay, so the DIY is to use a Colgate toothpaste. So here it is. And the Colgate toothpaste you're using is the white toothpaste. Not the gels, not the fruity ones or the colored ones, just the white toothpaste. And it doesn't necessarily have to say like mine's cavity protection. It just has to be white toothpaste. You're also using Vaseline. You can use any brand Vaseline that you have as long as it is uh, petroleum jelly. That's fine. Vaseline that's fine so what you do is you just take some of your toothpaste and you take the toothpaste the amount you're taking I was going to put it in this bowl but I think it'd be easier for me to demonstrate on my hand and you guys will see it so the um, the toothpaste the amount of toothpaste you're using is the amount you would normally use to brush your teeth no more no less so here you go this is the amount that you need okay then i'm going to just dip my hand in the vaseline and um take it out you can also use a spoon a plastic spoon but i prefer using my fingers because i'm the only one who's using this vaseline um and if anybody else uses it they wouldn't mind me um using it put my fingers in it so this is the amount you have i just use a little smudge on my finger and this is the amount that you need right here you take your hand, you mix it with the toothpaste like that. Okay. So hopefully you guys are able to see this. And this is what you get. The mixture. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go. Hopefully, you're seeing me though. I'm not sure y'all seeing me. Maybe y'all are. And I'm just tripping. Okay. And I'm going to go and I'm going to put it all over my face. Make sure that it doesn't go into your eye. And it has a really nice minty 
flavor to it, minty smell. Very light. Reminds me of peppermint. So this is good for black um, heads and I believe light acne. Um, when I say light acne, I mean if you have acne on your face and it's kind of dry, not red and blotchy, I would recommend this. Another thing that you want to do before you even put this on your face, especially if you have sensitive skin or your skin, it's not sensitive but it doesn't always agree with everything, the best thing for you to do I think I put a little bit, I'm going to just put a little bit more toothpaste. And I'm putting it in my hand with the remaining Vaseline. I just added the toothpaste. Okay. Yeah, this is the color you're supposed to be um, having and getting. Let me turn the camera around just so your guys are able to, and I'm sure you're able to see my face. Okay. Here we go. And you're able to see how I'm applying it. So yeah, as I was saying, you don't want your acne, if your acne is blotchy or red, don't put it on. And then you want to do a skin test to make sure this will work for you. And you just put um, a little bit of the application on your arm. Wait like about, I would say, five to eight minutes. And then if it's no reaction, you don't feel any burning sensation, no itching or what have you, then you should be safe to use this. Okay, now let's turn this back around like so. Let's push it down. Okay. And we're going to, what you do is you wait like I would say about 5 to 10 minutes. I usually wait up to 10 minutes and um, then I rinse it off. You're going to feel, once you rinse it off, your face is going to be feeling really nice and really moisturized. And all I do is I rinse it off with um, water and then a little bit of my um, clean and clear um, cleanser. You can use any cleanser that you normally use, use that. Okay, I'm going to rinse it off now. Normally, like I said, I would keep it on longer, but for just demonstration purposes, I'm going to take it off and show you how my face looks after. Let me just get my towel. And wipe my face. And show you the results. Hopefully you can see it from here. And this is how my face looks. It really feels nice and moisturizer. And moisturize. Moisturizer. Moisturize because of the Vaseline. It feels nice. And it has a really pretty... Um, natural dewy look to it now when you're washing your face because of the Vaseline um, you will find that you probably have to use your um, your um, 
your cleanser maybe twice to get the Vaseline um, you know where it's not so much on your face and stuff and really rinse it off um, but just for you know because of demonstration purposes I just rinsed off what I could and then I wiped off the rest and that should be fine too and don't worry about Vaseline clogging your pores it doesn't really clog it doesn't clog mine at all it actually helps most people I think um, it doesn't really uh, bother their skin but again if you're acne prone or you have sensitive skin it may have um, it may happen to you so just take your precautions and make sure that you do the test and when you try it you try it maybe one day don't do it the next day and then see how your face reacts um, I've been using this twice a week like say if I use it Monday I don't do it Tuesday I wait till Wednesday the next time I may not do it Wednesday if I do it Wednesday I'll wait till Friday or maybe Saturday I do give it some time to kind of work and I don't like to really do it back to back um, just as a precaution because I do have sensitive skin but normally I don't have problems with my face so I hope this helped you you guys I hope you all um, enjoyed this little tutorial um, using the Colgate and the Vaseline um, please let me know in the comment section what you think have you tried this before and has it worked for you okay I will see you guys in the next video how about that bye bye for now thank you my loves bye